Yo man, what's going on y'all? Yo? It's your boy Demon and I'm back with our main channel video today. And if you guys are new, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And today's video will be talking the story of Delano Banton and how he got into the NBA and a journey more so into the NBA. So if you guys are new, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And we're on the road to 300 subscribers so you can hit the subscribe button that you really to appreciate. And let's get into today's video. Delano Banton, a player who was born in Toronto, Canada, has yet to hit his drive for the Raptors, but I think this year he'll have a breakout season for the Raptors and their team. First, let's explain his story and road to the NBA and how he got to where he is today into playing on the Toronto Raptors. Delano Banton was a Canadian-born kid from Rexdale, and he is now living his dream being in the NBA, though he's a role player for the Toronto Raptors, as Delano Banton's a 6'9 point guard and his future for the Toronto Raptors is the best of yet to come. But as for Delano Banton now, let's talk more about Delano Banton's early life and his aspirations for playing basketball. For all kids dreaming of being an NBA player in Canada, as it is a hockey country, basketball is slowly becoming a sport of the century for all Canadians. And for Delano Banton, he may have dreamed of being a basketball player in the NBA a reality. I remember growing up watching the game of basketball, the game has basically evolved, especially for Canada and being a country who invented basketball itself. As for Jason Naismith, Delano Banton grew up in Toronto. Delano Banton began playing basketball as a kid at the North Kipling Community Center. This was a rectal community hub as he would also play in a parking lot as well. Delano Banton grew up in the city of Recto and surprisingly he would attend many basketball camps like all kids do at a young age and he even attended DeMar DeRozan's basketball camp for when he was a young kid after DeMar DeRozan would host the basketball camp in a community center in his local neighborhood. Delano Banton as a kid I'm pretty sure he put many hours of work in the gym night in and night out putting all the runs and efforts into polishing the game each and every day as for him being such a young NBA rookie as for now. As for all his hard work it really has paid off and we're now seeing it in full form. As for Delano Banton who graduated high school in 2019, he reclassified himself into 2018. He played for Redemption Christian Academy in Northfield, Massachusetts and McDuffie School in Granbury, Massachusetts. As for Delano Banton in high school, he played at a high school in Toronto and Rexdale, but he had to move to the United States to fulfill his dream in being the NBA. Delano Banton in high school, played for a high school in Toronto, but basically I'll show a picture here for the team, but he basically in the back, he's basically a player in the afro, basically behind a bigger player on the team. In high school for Delano Banton as for his peers, he's actually very decent in the game of basketball. Delano Banton can shoot the mid-range very well and basically throw up some three-pointers here and there, but his height at the time was very good for blocking shots and guarding other players. I think he's about 5'10 or 6 foot at the time during his freshman year as when he was in high school, but as for him playing point guard in fourth position, he would play very well. But at the end of Banton's high school career, Banton was a consensus four-star recruit and was basically ranked in the top 100 recruits nationally in 2018 by rival scouting and 247 sports scouting. On November 14th of 2017, Banton chose his commitment to go to the University of Western Kentucky over Kansas State, UMass, and Minnesota University. Leading him to college, Delano Banton decided his journey to the NBA had started in disguise. I'm pretty sure for Delano Banton's averages in high school, he averaged pretty close to 5 to 10 points per game on a reasonable assist, steals, and block margin. As for Delano Banton in college as a freshman, Delano Banton played over 31 games at West Kentucky and he would average 3.4 points, 3.0 rebounds, 2.1 assists on a per game average. Delano Banton made 12 starts and nearly had a triple double with 13 rebounds, 10 assists, and 8 points in a career high where he played 38 minutes in a win over the number 15th team in Wisconsin. Delano Banton was one of the six players in Division I basketball to have at least 8 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists in the 2018 to 2019 season, as this was the road to him achieving his dream in being drafted to the NBA. He had three double figure scoring output margins on the season, and including an 11 point game against Belmont and St. Mary's Banton, he had three double figure scoring outputs on the season, including a season high 11 points versus both. Belmont and St. Mary's, as he'd also have six assists, three blocks against the Gales. On April 10th, 2019, Delano Banton announced his transfer to intent from Western Kentucky during his college year to further his recruitment process. On May the 1st, 2019, Delano Banton announced on his Twitter account that he's committing to Nebraska University. As for Delano Banton, he had to set out one season in the 2019 to 2020 season. As for his role, what it had to do, it basically held up his skills and scouting for all scouts. 
Ashford allowed on Benton during his Huskies trip in Italy. As for August of 2019, he averaged 5.8 points, 3.5 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 1.3 steals per game, helping the Huskies post a 4-0 record as for that trip run. On December 17, 2020, the Lionel Banton scored just a second triple-double in Nebraska's men's history with 13 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists in Nebraska's 110-64 win over Deanne University. He averaged 9.6 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 3.9 assists per game. As for the Lionel Banton, his numbers were pretty low in college, but he was tough to stat sheet and be close to a triple double machine. As for a day to day comparison and being compared to the NBA great George Gervin and basically former player in the NBA Sean Livingston. As for the NBA, now following the season, he declared his name for a 2021 NBA draft while maintaining his college availability. However, on July 2nd, he announced his decision as his draft class was very promising and had a very high talent. As for him being drafted, it was very surprising for him being drafted to his hometown in Toronto as he was picked with the 46th pick in a 2021 draft by the Toronto Raptors. This man the first ever Canadian to be drafted by a franchise in NBA history. On August 14th, he signed a multi-year contract deal with the Raptors and Banton chose to wear his number 45 to honor the TTC bus route as that's the route he took in his neighborhood. Moving on to the Thunder League, Jelano Banton got you 7.8 points, 6.4 rebounds, 2.6 assists, 1.4 blocks, and 2 steals in 22 minutes a night in playing with lead players like Scotty Barnes and Malachi Flynn as they led the Raptors to a 4 run record in the Summer League run. This was very reasonable for the Raptors Summer League team as they had a team full of returning players and many good new players and rookies with a good development staff and staff like Adrian Griffin and others on the sideline. Delano Banton made his NBA debut on October 20th, 2021 in the Raptors home opener versus the Washington Wizards where Delano Banton scored his first career points with hitting a half court but they beating three point field goal which is a half court shot at the end of the third quarter. On November 13th, 2021, Delano Banton then scored another career high. 12 points, adding 3 rebounds with 2 assists and a steal in a 127-121 to loss to the Detroit Pistons. As for the Lionel Band, he didn't really get a lot of time as for NBA play, but he would be a crazy star and an uprising star in the G League. As for the Lionel Band, he played the Raptors G League team in the 905, as basically his average lit up to about 24 points, 5.9 assists, 8.9 rebounds, and shooting 39% from 3 in the regular season for the G League with career highs and giving you 34 points in a G League playoff game as he basically gave you 9 assists and 8 rebounds and 3 blocks as he just erupted from there. As for the lot on Banton, him playing the G League was very great for his development and getting most of his runs in the G League and keeping the Raptors almost to a championship game in the G League. As for the G League playoffs, he basically turned up the heat and getting you 29.5 points, 9 rebounds on 2 blocks a game and shot close to 30% from 3 and shot 53% from the field goal. But for the G League showcase, Delano Banton showed what he could do, but he had a bit of a horrible 3 point shooting stat, but he basically gave you the same efficiency and stat average. But for the Lionel Banton, we realized with him playing in the G League, he'd be a superstar, and if this applies to the NBA, it would be a problem for the league and for the NBA as he's soon to break out. But as for the Lionel Banton coming to season 2, he's yet to disappoint, he's very well known in the NBA. Though he hasn't got really a lot of play with the Raptors and basically getting the NPs across the board, it is okay. But as for the Lionel Banton, he basically played very well in the Summer League and the Raptors basically got the same record as they got last year. But as for the Lionel Banton coming to Season 2, he has yet to miss a point. He has played very well in the Summer League, basically in the summer, and he basically got the same record as they got in the last Summer League they, he played in. But he looked very amazing in the preseason, if you might ask. And I think, honestly, for Delano Banton and having a training camp deal, I think he deserves a guaranteed contract for basically the staff and the Raptors have seen. As for Delano Banton his preseason play, he got 14 points versus the Rockets last night on October 7th versus the Houston Rockets. And basically got you close to 10 points in the first preseason game opener versus the Jazz. And he played very well. So basically, for Delano Banton and his preseason averages, he's basically giving you in the ballpark of 8 to 10 points per game. On good rebounding and assist numbers, but he looks very polished for, as for the offseason work he put in this offseason. But as for his offseason, Delano Banton has done many things in playing with Canada in the FIBA American Cup as he basically got averages of 15 points a game, 5 rebounds and 2 assists, and he was named the All-Star for that summer circuit. But as for Canada's level of play and his potential in the tournament, Delano Banton is pretty polished and looks much more better 
in the coming interplay for the Raptors for this season. As for basically the Raptors, I expect them to take off in the 2022 to 2023 NBA season, and the Lionel Banton can basically be a secondary point guard for this Raptors team. But yeah, that's a video on the Lionel Banton and basically his journey to the NBA and his time with the Raptors. So if you are new and you enjoy this video and you all want more videos and you all have more player suggestions for this type of content, let me know and I'll sure be bringing it out. And it's your boy Demi, I hope you all enjoyed the video. But as for the Lionel Banton, we learned that basically, from wherever you are, you can basically achieve your dreams, whether it's from whether you're in a, whether you're an international player, whether you're a Euroleague player, you can be, but you guys can use that as a source of motivation and input for basically for motivational story. But it's a story of the Lionel Band and how he got to the NBA. And I hope y'all enjoyed. And your boy Demi, and I'm out. Have a great birthday, and I hope y'all are new. And make sure to subscribe because we're at 300 subscribers. We're very close to 300 subscribers. So if you can hit that subscribe button, you'd be much appreciated. And I'm out. And make sure you follow my socials in the description. And I'm out. Peace.